Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV Balloon Basics. We're joined once again by Mark from Qualitex. Mark, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us. And today, Mark is going to show us how to create one of these out of a 160Q balloon. So, Mark, over to you. So, we're going to take our 160Q and we're going to pre inflate this. So, what this does is it takes out the elasticity of the balloon. So when we reinflate it around something cylindrical, it will take on that form. Okay. Really important. We need to do that. Yeah. So I'll show you the method where uh, uh, you use a friend. Uh, that'll be Greg. So we take it and we'll wrap it around something cylindrical. In this case, I'm just going to wrap this around my fingers. Really careful not to twist the balloon yeah. so that there's a clear way of actually getting the air around all the way around the balloon. Okay. And if you'd mind helping me, Greg, if you can just inflate this balloon now. So you can see oh, cool. as it inflates, it wraps around my fingers. Yeah. It's very clever. Fantastic. All the way down. Now, it won't fully inflate because we've only stretched to uh, uh, about there. Oh, right. So it'll only go as far as it is. As, as far as you've pre-stretched it. Okay. Fantastic. I'll tie that off. But if you needed to do this by yourself, which a lot of the time you do need to do, yeah, uh, we'll employ anything, a pole and base, anything cylindrical. Yeah. And what we've done here is we've tied uh, a deflated 160Q around the top, could be a 260. We'll fully inflate this time, I think. So we'll fully inflate our balloon, yeah. hold it for a couple of seconds and then let the air out. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to place the end just underneath there and use that to hold so you've got two hands to, to, to work with. And then we'll wrap around the pole, ensuring that we don't twist the balloon so that when you inflate, you can actually, the air can easily pass all, yeah. all the way through the spiral. Perfect. Okay. I actually like inflating uh, spirals around something that's quite narrow yeah. because once you've got your sp spiral, you can reform it into a larger spiral if you wish just by manipulating the balloon. So you can stretch it and yep. twist it and all that sort of stuff. Mark, that is awesome. Thank you very much for that. I hope you found that useful. Now you know how to make a spiral out of a 160Q. Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you next time. Bye.